Hi, today we're going to look at a way to do a very simple exercise to um, get choristers to understand and be able to um, physicalise singing and playing in one um, time signature at the same time with another. So we're going to do three and two. So they're going to learn how to do three beats in one hand per bar and two beats in the other hand. And anybody can learn it, it's quite simple, so you can do it with young children or adults as well. I'm going to use my stomach so you can see me, but you'll probably be wanting to use your hands on your knees. So it just goes like this. Together, left, right, left. Together, left, right, left. Together, left, right, left. Together, left, right, left. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Together, left, right, left. Together, left, right, left. Together, left, right, left. Together, left, right, left. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. So you can see that the action is the same. Nothing changes about what you're doing with your hands, but you speak about it in a different way. So the first time you do it through with your um, students or your choristers, you might find that all they can do is try and keep up with you and do the same thing while you're speaking. The next step is to get them to speak with you. You want them to say, together, left, right, left, because that helps them remember the exercise if they're going to do it by themselves. And then you want them to count one, two, three, um, which is going to be your left hand, assuming that they're right-handed. Uh, if they're not right-handed, you, you could change it to together, right, left, right. And then you want them to go back to together, left, right, left, because it re-centers them. And then you're going to go for the hardest bit, which is when they count one, two, which is the beat set up in your right hand. Now, I'm aware I'm doing a video, so the hands are swapped around, but hopefully you'll be able to figure it out. Okay, so here we go. I'll do the whole thing again. First of all, they're just going to be able to cope watching you and trying along. Uh, second time after they're used to that, you want them to speak along with you. And then I'll get to the third stage in a minute. Here we go. Let's do it again. Together, left, right, left, together, left, right, left, together, left, right, left, together, left, right, left. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, together, left, right, left, together, left, right, left, together, left, right, left, together, left, right, left. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now, once they're happy with that, you want them to relax into it. You want them to stop hitting their thighs and hurting their legs. You want them to kind of be able to look around the room a bit and kind of go as if it doesn't matter, as if their brain can do something different. Ultimately, you want them to, to forget about the together, left, right, left, and go from three to two. So you want them to go one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, and maybe even to do it faster. Bum, 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 bum. And that will help them with their um, triplets as well. I hope you enjoy it.